Edmonton Oilers 5, Toronto Maple Leafs 2. Welcome back to the day after reaction. Myself was, and last night was proof that the Oilers are now officially the best team in Canada. Well, maybe the Winnipeg Jets. I'm not too sure. We'll find out tomorrow. But yeah, the Oilers dominated, embarrassed the Maple Leafs, basically confirming that they are the best team in Canada. I don't want to hear this nonsense. Ah, the Leafs play in a tougher division. They play in the East. Maybe last night was also proof that the East isn't as strong as we thought. Right? I mean, the Oilers kind of did lose to the Habs and Blue Jackets, but that's besides the point. You know, maybe the West is just a little bit more competitive. You ever thought about that? And I don't want to hear any excuses. Oh, the Leafs had five new players in the ice. So what? They're NHL players. They should learn how to play because Ryan McLeod embarrassed some defensemen. I don't even know his name, but he was laying flat on the ice while Clem Costin was finishing off a goal. Connor McDavid, best player in the world. We knew that, but we, it was further confirmed by scoring two goals in the first period by getting his 51st or 52nd goal. He's about to break a, a 100-year record. That's amazing. Regardless, the Oilers embarrassed the Maple Leafs, and you love to hear that. Maybe next week it's a different story. Right now, the Oilers have basically sent a message to the rest of the National Hockey League. Hey, when we play our game with Matthias Ekholm now in the lineup, we're a cup contender. In my opinion, it was just it, everything went right for the Oilers last night. And also, we can't forget about you know Ryan Nugent Hopkins just laying the law on Justin Hall. Fists of fury, standing up for Kyler Yamamoto. What was that hit? You trying to end the guy's career? Because that's what it looked like. You know, Kyle Yamamoto, his health is in jeopardy. The, his career could be in jeopardy if he keeps taking hits like that. I know he's a small guy. He got his bell rung. But Ryan Nugent Hopkins, the veteran, stands up for his team, and you love to see it. You love to see the Maple Leafs getting embarrassed. The Ryan McLeod moment, for me, stood out the most just because I love Ryan McLeod. And Clem scoring. Oh, Evan Bouchard should have had a goal. He's looking good on the power play. I know people were saying, oh, how the how can the Oilers power play survive without Tyson Berry? The best power play that could be in NHL history. If it keeps going at the rate it's going, it will be the best power play in NHL history. That's all I got to say in the day after you're acting at the OilersNation.com for more in-depth analysis. Unless Homerish takes like this. But yeah, tomorrow we take on the Winnipeg Jets. Then we take out the Winnipeg Jets on Saturday as well. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. Like, comment, and subscribe. Maple Leafs got dusted.